so this may be yeah this may be super cliche to say or whatever but um i just want to say it's a message to all trans people out there just be yourself like for so long i've tried to fit inside this binary of like oh okay i'm not a girl so i'm gonna try to be the manliest man ever and every time i try to do that and just i guess be like tough and suppress a bunch of my femininity i my femininity pops out either way so girl i'm not trying to fit in no box y'all shouldn't either like you don't have to like fitting in a box is made up by society because it's more convenient to just label someone oh you're this you're that act that way act this way you know what i mean so but we don't have to follow those standards and i'm trying to like break out of that myself because it's so taught and ingrained in us that like it's regular it's a tonka truck but yeah um we don't have to follow binaries bro like if you want to like do whatever you want to do there's no rules to life no one who made that up i mean like obviously like there's rules like don't kill someone and stuff like that you know what i'm saying but like be yourself bro and do it unapolog unapolog un unapologetically meaning don't care about what your parents gotta say don't care about what society has to say and i'm not saying like being an a-hole but kind of you know what i'm saying like if if you walk out the house and you're expected by society to wear a suit because you're masculine presenting or you're a man and you're supposed to act this way but you're like man forget that i want to wear a tight fitting shirt like a little crop top type vibe you feel me or just act flamboyant like you can do that like you don't have to suppress yourself to make others feel comfortable because it's just not it's not it I've, I've done that for a long time like i tried to be the girly the girly girl tried to be the the best girl i knew how to be to fit that that box i couldn't fit it so i was like all right i guess i'm a dude so let me be the manliest man like i said and that didn't work either so at this point like i do identify as a man but like not so like i'm a man so i have to do all this this that i kind of just do what i feel um obviously like me being more masculine i say than feminine is just who i am but that's just me like you can be a man and be more feminine than masculine you see what i'm saying but like personally i do partake in masculine things because it makes me feel good but that's me like that's what makes me feel good not because society told me i have to like i loved um having fresh cuts since i was a kid literally since i was a kid because i remember i cut my hair off as a girl and i like messed it up like i cut off a braid so my mom had to go get the back part of my head shaved because uh it looked weird like it was uneven so they had to go we had to go cut it and this lady like shaved the back of my head and i remember going home i was like seven maybe or something and i remember going home and i just kept feeling how short the hair was like i love the feeling i was like i love short hair and then after that i went to high school and i started like trimming my hair like i started lining myself up because i liked how it felt not because i was trying to fit a box but i just liked having a fresh cut i felt fresh like sheesh you know so that's what i like so you just gotta find what you like don't be forced though to do something or act a certain way by society you feel me it should be you like if you want to wear pink and wear a dress and be and be feminine because you want to period but don't do it because your parents your parents are telling you oh you have to be more girly oh you have to wear a skirt like if you don't want to wear that skirt don't wear that skirt if it makes you uncomfortable don't do it like period and i know it's easier said than done especially if you're like a minor and stuff but you know you just gotta you just gotta do you and you know trust that the universe and god is is with you because honestly i feel like that's what protected me like god because like i said i was 13 14 cutting my hair like i didn't really care what my parents were gonna say i just did it and i like let let them react to it but i was still gonna do me like i was still gonna pop out as me in the way i best knew how at the time so yeah if i could do it y'all could do it because trust me i have been through some stuff but you know stuff is good it just lets you find who you are and stuff like that so i'm not sitting here like i've been through things <laughs> but like it is what it is bro like i don't care look at me now i'm here living my best life so yeah y'all try not to focus too much on the circumstances either like stuff does get better like it really does but you just gotta keep that mindset like keep that mindset i remember i couldn't start tea right 
and I kept telling myself like one day bro you gonna look like like I would tell myself one day you gonna look like this you gonna look like you gonna, you gonna be everything you you're imagining in your head and look you feel me I tried to stick it out and keep chasing myself and you know doing things that make me feel good you feel me and before you know it you'll be where you want to be at so yeah that's just my little message uh, this is not just to trans people by the way this can go for anyone um, just all people because uh, people in general like just be yourself bro not even just like you know expressing your gender identity or exploring sexuality or anything like that just be yourself like if you like spongebob and you want to get a spongebob tattoo uh get a spongebob tattoo who cares you know what i'm saying like things like that like just do you as long as you're not hurting nobody and you know you're doing it in a safe way do you bro But I'm about to get off here now and walk back to the whip because it's cold and I'm kind of hungry. So I'm going to go get some food. But later, y'all.